All right, guys, I got my bucket. I'm going to harvest my crabs. Man, it's covered in mussels. All right, I don't have a lot of crabs, but let's see what we can get here. guys welcome to another episode my name is Ray today we're gonna try to catch some spring togfish uh, today is April 13th and I'm here at the Jersey Shore looking for some tog at the jetties today's bait I'm gonna be using some green crabs that I harvested earlier today I'm gonna be using my night ranger rod paired up with my twin power XD from Shimano uh, it's a brand new reel that I got last year and I'm finally using it uh, it's very light it's only about under nine ounces and 24 pounds of crank and 40 inches per turn. It's a beast. So let's see what we could get today. Let's go guys. Wow guys, the water looks super clear. Feels really good to coming back and togging. You know what I mean? You know, togfish is my favorite fish to catch. If you watch my episodes, you know I love togging guys. Got to my spot. I'm gonna set everything up now. I'm gonna try a one and a half ounce. So I'm gonna be cutting some crabs. Uh, if you guys don't know how to cut crabs, it's very easy. These are huge because I caught them myself. Cut the legs. You don't want to cut it too close to the joint because when you put the hook in, you need to come out with the other socket. So you want to leave, leave a little bit. So I got my pre-made rig that I made before. If you're not sure how to make this rig, I'm going to leave a link in the description teach you how to make this all right guys let me show you what i'm working with today i'm using my custom jigging world night ranger rod it's rated for half to two ounces i have a paired up with my shimano twin power xd 4000 with 20 pound braid bar swivel i have 40 pound leader mono mono filament leader with a size 3.0 bait holder hook and uh one to two ounce uh, sinkers depending on the current and stuff so I'm going to be putting on my first crab all right let's go let's see what we could get I recommend having your reel set a little more of a tighter side you don't want it too loose because these fish are very strong fish as soon as you hook up into one they're gonna to try to dive into the rocks so you got to yank them out of there so you need a proper rod especially a really good rod and a decent reel so let's see what we could get guys first cast uh, the water temperature is about almost 50 degrees right now so we should have some tog and some tog fish coming in inshore it's just like you gotta find the tog fish okay you gotta hit those holes and um, see if you get any bites if you do get bites, just you know, keep casting in that area and I'm sure you will catch a tog. No bites, put another bait on it. You want always fresh bait on here. Gotta move to a different spot guys, it's not working over here so I'm gonna go to a different spot. I was pretty excited but not here, maybe a little more inland, it's a little better. This is my third spot. My first two spots were no good guys. Didn't get any much of a bite. Oh, there we go. Got a bite. Let's get a little closer to the water. 
been getting a little bites here and there, so a little taps. Oh. Got some good bites. Somebody's there. Well, as soon as you get some bites, give it a little slack. Okay. There we go. Fish on, guys. Oh, shit. Big one. Guys, it's a big one. Nice one. Oh, shit. It's a nice one. Woo. Oh, it might be a keeper. Oh. Might be a keeper. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh. Oh. This is the one. Alright, it has to be 15 inches, guys. 15 inches. Damn, this guy looks like a nice female. I'm gonna measure this one and let's go. Hopefully it's a keeper. Fought so hard. I doubt it's a 15 inches, but I'm gonna measure it anyways. Measure it really quick. Oh, that's short. It's 14 and a half, guys. Look at that. 14 and a half. Maybe next year. It's almost cheaper. <laughs> Barely, though. Barely. <laughs> nice one. Let it go. It's not a keeper, so. Damn. Jeez. That was a good fight. Came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that. Whew. <laughs> Look, guys, my friend over here caught a 13 incher. No keepers yet, but we're gonna keep going. So, guys, that's the end of the video today. Um, I was talking and I only caught that one fish, that 14 and a half, and my friend caught that 13 incher. I'm gonna call it a day because the last two hours I haven't caught anything, no bites at all, nothing. So um, right now it's a little finicky. The fish are still a little bit lethargic and it's a little, the water is still cold. So um, they're not biting as much as they supposed to. Uh, that's how it is always at springtime, but um, there are occasional keepers out here So come out here and catch that tog. You just got to put in that time and um, practice. Thanks for watching guys I see you at the next episode